This is the Emax Transporter 2. And this is me playing a simulator with it. Today, we use your existing analog goggles to play an FPV simulator. If you're interested in this hobby, but aren't sure about it, you may end up on a simulator, but unless you own some fancy goggles with an HDMI input, you'll probably be playing on a monitor. After this video, you'll be able to use the same goggles you intend to fly outside in your simulator. The biggest cost here will be this piece, which is an HDMI to RCA converter, which Amazon will sell you for $15. Here's the first unit I purchased, which died after I wrapped it in duct tape after I finished the project, but it turns out there's a component in here that's a little too hot and will burn out. My final unit, I actually didn't wrap it. I just used a 20 millimeter, a 20 millimeter heatsink on the 10 millimeter component. The teardown here is simple. The only bit aside from the circuit board we need is a plastic adapter that connects to the RCA cables. I only hooked up the yellow video and ground to mine, but you can connect audio if you'd like to send audio along. The second thing you're gonna need is a VTX for the video ground line, since RCA needs both. After building this project, I strongly recommend purchasing something like the Eqin TX805 or AKK Infinite DVR because they offer a 5 volt out, which you will need to power the converter through a micro USB plug. I ended up having to use a buck converter to power this since mine didn't have those outputs. The final bit will be something to power. I just cut apart a cheap balance extension for a 3S battery and used the outer positive and ground cables to power the whole thing. These kind of videos take time, research, money, and burning random components. So I would appreciate it if you subscribed. I don't publish a lot of pointless content. So almost everything in this channel will have some sort of technical component which will either be immediately helpful or educational. If you have a drone that works and has the correct PTX, you could actually wire this all up inside. Just leave the PCB at home and take the USB micro and PCB adapter on your drone. This will probably work better for people who use their drone beta flight to send commands to a simulator. If you have a wireless controller for your simulator, you could probably have a nice simulation session outside or in the comfy couch in your living room. Although I do recommend turning down the transmission power on your VTX to 25 milliliters. You can even stuff the entire build behind your computer and just put a battery in when you want to run the simulator. Everything used in the project is linked below, but you can choose your own components aside from the HDMI to RCA converter because I haven't used any other ones. The last bit here is a moral question. Should I return the original failed board? Manufacturer's case did have ventilation holes and probably wasn't intended to be smothered into electrical tape, but this thing gets toasted quickly and will probably die without a proper heat sink. So leave a comment so that YouTube engagement is higher and I'd love to hear what people's thoughts on this are.